Hey everybody and welcome back. So today I have a new edition of a new brand find. I found this, I think I first saw this company from Instagram. It was like from the Instagram like dupe that where they basically do a dupe or duplicate versions of different really popular lipstick items and stuff like that and I kind of just clicked on this site not really knowing much about it and I really really have been enjoying the products that I've gotten from her so far so the company name is called give me glow and it is a site that is on Etsy so you basically go on Etsy and you type in give me glow and it's just this I believe her name is Brandy. She's the one who makes all these products and they're super adorable. Like the packaging is so cute. So they have these little like bows on them and little jars. So it's definitely a different type of product. So I want to kind of like talk about that as well. So she, what initially directed me to her is she had some dupes of Cashmere from Lime Crime and some dupes of Riot, which is one of the newer shades. So she's got a bunch of these really popular dupes and I think that's awesome for people who aren't using Lime Crime anymore. This is a really good alternative. It is not a liquid to lipstick, it's not a liquid lipstick formula. But it is a pretty like semi matte, but more of like a creamy matte, which is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of those dupes that I've got so far. The only one that I, that I really want to get that I haven't gotten, only just because I ordered the, the real one in the mail. She has a dupe for the original, the first release of Lolita that I have not picked up yet. But I just went and I bought the latest release, which is like the third release of Lolita. It's pretty dark, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was hoping for that really nice, like, rusty pink rose color, but it definitely is not that. So, the first color I have is just her dupe for Lime Crime Cashmere, which is in the shade Deja Vu. These are really unique. Some of them do come in, like, tube versions to where you can, it's like a lip gloss tube where you can buy that. But I've just been getting the little, um, the pots of the product. And they're only $5.25 for them, so it's really not bad at all so the only downside is that she doesn't put like stickers of the names of the products so you can kind of it becomes a little bit tricky so the one I picked up is actually not that one this is the dupe for um, pure Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills <laughs> they look similar and I really wish that there was a sticker on the back but this is her dupe for that color and I just want to show you the consistency of these is super unique it's like a matte mousse and it's just super creamy they smell nice it's some kind of like butter in there that smells really nice like cocoa butter or something but that is the dupe right there so it's like a really pretty slightly pink undertoned color and they just I love the way it feels on the lips these are super super pigmented and they last because they are that semi matte formula and the next one, this is the dupe for Lime Crime. It is, she calls hers Deja Vu. So they are similar towards one another, but this one just has that more gray, grayish, like undertone to it. And I do apply all of these with just a simple lip brush. So that is Deja Vu, that dupe for Lime Crime Cashmere. So it's a little bit more, it's not quite as gray when I... When I wear Lime Crime, it tends to pull a little bit more gray on me, that color from um, them, the cashmere, but I actually really like that. So this one is a little bit, definitely, it's a little bit warmer. It's not quite as gray. And the next one is the dupe for Rave. Sorry, this is the dupe for Riot. <laughs> and it's just that pretty rusty color. Go ahead. These are all really nice, like neutrals, and they're, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the consistency of the... So the color payoff of these is phenomenal. Like this is just like one swipe of the product. It's so creamy. That is the Riot dupe right there. I, I believe she called hers like Rusty Rose is the name of that one. But she'll tell you like if you go on the website it'll actually say like dupe for blah blah blah. So that way you can see what she calls it because unfortunately there's no names on any of these which would be the only thing I would change. And the last one, which is one of my favorites, I have it on right now. It is a dupe for Rave from Lime Crime. It's just a really pretty light, like lavender, pinky, purple. It's not quite as bright 
is what I've seen pictures of Rave. I really, really like that color, but I just can't bring myself to go and purchase anything from Lime Crime. So this is as close as I'm going to get at the moment. But it's a really, really pretty shade. And these are semi mattes They do last a good chunk of time before you have to reapply any of them. She does make several other things like glitters and... Um, I'm not, she doesn't do eyeshadows, I don't believe, but like there's glitters and highlighters. So I went up and picked one of her highlighters up. And this is just the shade Wedding Day. Sorry, I left the little sticker on there just because these are like the sifter, the little sifter thing. So it'll come out if you're not careful. Let's see, we'll just do that right here next to the lipstick. I have not actually worn this one yet, but it's a pretty gold. It's 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 along the lines of um it's supposed to be similar to like heat wave and whatnot, but it's it's not quite as pigmented, but it's just like a really pretty like champagne color highlighter. It's nice. Um these ones I believe are eight dollars. So everything's really affordable if you're kinda looking for a cheaper alternative to different products. I highly recommend looking that up. When I do wear it, I will let you know how long it kind of stays and if it blends well with other products. And then I went ahead, last couple things is just I got some of her lipsticks. So these ones come in normal size tubes. This is just the shade Beautiful Berry. This is probably the only product I have with a name on it. Oh no. Somehow it got... Oh, I think it like melted or something oh it probably melted in the car that's disappointing actually um but this is what it looks like and melted in the car but it's a really pretty color on the bright side I'll go ahead and put that down these are so creamy this is like uh, they're similar to the cream lipsticks from bite that's what they feel like that is the shade beautiful berry right there it's just like a really pretty magenta berry color Oh my goodness, I just love the way they come off and like the color pigmentation on these is bar none. It's good stiff. A couple more of the lipsticks. These are different orders, so these lip gloss or these lipstick tubes are different. These don't have names on it either, so I'm going to try and remember as we go over this so I don't tell you the wrong name. Okay. Okay, so I believe this is her shade Leaked Nude, which is just a really, really nice nude shade. These ones are a little bit more matte, but they're not quite as creamy as that one, the beautiful berry right here. So I believe this is the Leaked Nude right here, which is just a really nice um, nude color. They do have like a, a slight, like, they kind of smell to me like berries, like a slight like strawberry or raspberry or something. And this one is just really pretty, is called Coral Cutie. And it is just like the name says. It's just like a gorgeous coral color. It's so pretty. I'm so excited about the pigmentation of these because, to be honest, I've tried other brands that are, like, newer, and the pigmentation just hasn't really been on point. So I don't need to mention them. And the last one, I believe, this one is Dusty Rose. That is what this one is called. It's just, uh, it's similar to Gerard Cosmetics Buttercream that Jaclyn Hill created. So that is that color right here. And all of her lipsticks are $6.50. So it's definitely really affordable. So the ones in the jars are $5.25. The lipsticks are $6.50. And then the highlighter was only $8. So they're really affordable. And to be honest, for the quality that they come out, I think that they're worth every single penny. So if you're looking and you're interested in kind of trying out a new brand and you want dupes of any of those colors from Lime Crime because you're either not buying them or they're just out of stock or whatnot, I would definitely go and check her site out because the products are really, really good and they smell, they smell nice and they stay on pretty well. So that's pretty much it for this edition of a new brand find. So I will see you all in a few days for my next video. Bye.